Hello and welcome to the history of Firefly. Today's episode will be covering Shepherd Daryl Book, and here we go. Shepherd Daryl Book, born Henry Evans, was a passenger aboard Serenity and a friend and spiritual teacher to its crew. Before his time aboard the ship, he led a life marked with violence and conflict, both inside and out, which remained a secret from the crew. To the crew of Serenity, Daryl Book's past was a mystery. He indicated early on that he was a shepherd who had been living in the South Down Abbey and that he never married. In truth, Daryl was not even the shepherd's real name, but rather the name of a man he had killed. Book, whose birth name was Henry Evans, lived as a young boy in dread of his highly abusive father. He would listen to music to take himself to a peaceful place in his mind, only to be beaten. Ten years after leaving home, he had established himself as a successful thief, adept at avoiding law enforcement. But this is not what he had envisioned for himself. He was then recruited by the independence movement. After a representative became impressed at Evans' excellent combat potential, in four years he honed his fighting skills, easily defeating heavily armed federal agents single-handedly. Evans was not known among his independent peers to attend their meetings, but he showed up for one, and there he volunteered to take part in a highly sensitive mole operation. Since the independent organizers had learned that the Alliance was creating warships, they plotted to plant a long-term mole to rise through the ranks of the Alliance and subvert them at every turn. Henry's left eye was extracted and replaced with a bio-robotic camera and transmitter, which would provide excellent surveillance. To join the Alliance, he needed a new identity. He lured an unsuspecting young man named Daryl Book into an alley, murdered him, and took his name permanently. In four short years, he orchestrated a meteoric rise through the Alliance ranks and was selected for the officer corps from the law enforcement on Jagnin. He used brutal beatings on captured independent members, men and women alike, which impressed his superiors. After six years, he was an officer aboard the IAV Cortez, which he directed the final movements of an Alliance operation to ambush independent transports on a massive scale. Six installations on different planets and at least one space-borne transport convoy were raided by Alliance forces at the same moment, but each was ambushed. It was the single greatest disaster in Alliance history. The most prominent loss was the destruction of the IAV Alexander and the loss of all 4,000 souls aboard. Elsewhere, about 300 soldiers were captured. Book was immediately discharged without trial and thrown into an escape vessel in disgrace. He lived as a derelict for six years after, until he experienced an epiphany about his place in the universe while staring into a bowl of chicken soup. He was suddenly seized with a purpose and joined the South Down Abbey, where he remained for a decade until he finally chose to leave the Abbey, on good terms and with encouragement, and became a missionary. He then joined the crew of Serenity. Book frequently made references to Christian theology and consulted and quoted the Holy Bible, but Book later expressed concern that he was being corrupted by living on Serenity, and he left the ship and moved to the planet Haven. There he was killed by an Alliance soldier sent to destroy Haven after Serenity managed to shake an Alliance assassin known only as the Operative. He was not a passive figure in the events leading up to his death. He defended Haven and shot down an AV Sparrow that attacked the settlement. After taking down the ship, Mel told Book that he did the right thing, to which Book replied, Coming from you, that means almost nothing. Book's dying words to Mel were, I don't care what you believe, just believe it. 